So just in case anyone is sitting in the audience right now, thinking to themselves, so what's with the Ellen DeGeneres knockoff as our keynote speaker? <laughs> now who here has kids? Anybody regret it? <laughs> oh, come on, close your eyes, raise your hands. I actually have one son. He's turning two tomorrow. Yeah. But since money is a bit tight right now, we're not going to tell him. <laughs> and now you're thinking, damn, I should have thought of that. Susan? Susan? Um, Susan, are you ready to start our session? What? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I was just dreaming about BC before COVID. Yeah, I was just thinking about how life used to be. What was your question? How have you been? What was the pandemic like for you? Well, even though I'm a comedian, um, I struggled to maintain my sense of humor throughout the pandemic. Yeah, there were many days when I was really tempted to reply to someone and say, your email is not finding me well. Yes, it's been a very challenging time and it's important to recognize that. As you faced all this adversity and uncertainty, what's your self-talk been like? Oh, actually, it's never been better. Thanks to Peloton. Peloton, I believe in you. Do you believe in you? I believe in me. I can do hard things. And what about work? How have things been for you professionally? Well, because things were so tough, with all the ongoing adversity and uncertainty, I figured everyone needed a good laugh and some inspiration. So I launched a program called You Gotta Laugh, a pandemic pick-me-up. And it helped people see the humor in things during a very difficult time. I just wish I could actually hear them laugh. You must really miss hearing the sound of laughter. Uh... <laughs> yeah, um... I, uh, I, I, yeah, I miss it a, a lot. Thank you. <laughs> but it sounds like you left them feeling better and seeing the lighter side of life. Yes, um, the pandemic picked me up was a smash hit. People seem to really enjoy the opportunity to laugh about it all. To provide some comedic relief during such a hard time was incredibly fulfilling and an experience that I will never forget. And how are you feeling now that the pandemic is almost over? Well, um, well, performing stand-up comedy in my home to a screen has been uh, fun-ish. I am very eager to get back on stage. I miss standing on stage and energizing a group at an event. I love kicking off the day on a positive note or waking them up after lunch or wrapping up the day with lots of laughs. The power of comedy is that it's incredibly validating. It makes people feel seen and heard. It lets them know that they aren't alone in their struggles. When you've got an agenda full of things focused on self-improvement and professional development, I'm the one that comes in and says, hey, listen, I get it. Life can be really hard sometimes. I mean, I don't know about you, but I've thought about running away way more as an adult than I did as a kid. <laughs>